this instructional video for Moorbark Waste Recycler. This is the ignition system that is mounted near the motor. Turn the battery disconnect on. Turn the ignition switch on. Push in to start. <laughs> These two levers operate the front outriggers. Here and here. Let's go back up here to the clutch, Jim. All right, this is the clutch handle. Engaged. Disengaged. The discharge chute. The lock up in here. All right. And it has a locking pin over here. Right here next to the discharge chute is the anvil. It's used to keep larger items from getting stuck on the drum. Rear stabilizer legs, one for each side. <coughs> Make sure you have the stabilizers out and on the ground before you operate the grapple. You got four handles up here which operate the boom and the grapple. The center two operate raise and lower both sections of the boom. The two outer ones operate the swivel and the open and close on the grapple. Down here are the operator's feet, foot pedals. They move the grapple from left to right, the entire grapple and boom unit. Left goes to the left, right goes to the right. This button operates the anvil in and out, which was showed earlier. The lower button operates the rear uh, clean out in the tub, which is the rear auger. These controls here operate a small clean-out door at the front. Let's see if I can zoom in on that now. It's right at the bottom of the mill. Just a steel door that opens and closes. This toggle switch operates the chamber open and close to feed items into the mill and over here is your throttle controls you have dual throttle controls in the cab and up on the control box next to the motor <laughs> 